in order to determine whether or not we have enough current flowing through the part to generate a sufficient circular field, we, used an art of, we use an artificial flaw detector. This flaw detector is called a pie gauge or a segmented field indicator. This pie gauge is made up of eight pieces of steel brazed together with copper. As the copper will not generate its own magnetic field, only the fields going through the steel will be shown. Therefore, on the back side of this, every copper line will show up as an artificial indication. To use an artificial flaw indicator, it must be directly connected to the part. For this, we merely put it on the part such that it has, it sits on the part and makes a good contact. We will then apply the solution application to it and verify that we can see the artificial flaw lines. Having placed the artificial flow indicator on the machine and on the part, we will now apply the suspension to it and apply the current to verify we do or do not have enough current going through the part to generate a field. As we can see none of the lines, we do not have sufficient current to generate a circular field. Selecting the original current or the initial current for the part we set a, used a setting of two on the dial, which gave us about seven, 660 amps of DC current going through the part, which was not sufficient to generate a circular field in the part so that the flaw detector showed the lines. Having increased the current going through the machine and through the part, we're now going to reapply the solution and apply the current. As you can see, the Artificial flaw lines are clearly visible on the indicator and this demonstrates that we have adequate current to generate a circular field through the part. After we remove the pie gauge from the part, we completely saturate the part with solution. As soon as the part is saturated and the solution is running evenly across the part, we divert the stream and hit the bar two times consecutively to apply the uh, electrical current to the part. After hitting the bar twice, we now begin our evaluation of the part using our black light. As you can see on the part, anything that shows up as a very bright green and is typically linear would be an indication of an issue on the part. These roots show indications, linear indications through wear. According to our internal standards, this would no longer be acceptable for a service life in one of our products. We would reject this part and replace it. Upon completion of the evaluation of the part, the part still has a residual magnetic field. This magnetic field must be removed prior to removing the part from the machine. To do this on the ADH2045, you merely push the demagnetizing button. It'll run through a demagnetizing cycle and remove the residual magnetization from the part. You always do this two times. At this point, there should be no residual magnetic field on the part. This can be checked later with a Gauss meter.